traders and investors. We were already investors, but um, we became both at that point. And we decided we were going to do up houses, uh, buy crap houses, um, cosmetically distressed houses. And then we do them up really pretty and sell them on the market. So we did our first one up and um, it looked beautiful. And we did a great job. We did a wonderful job and we made a loss of about forty thousand dollars. And that hurt. So then we um, decided, okay, we'll do this again, right? So we went and got another house, did that up for a great job. And this time uh, we only made a loss of twenty thousand dollars, right? So I thought we were getting better. <laughs> anyway. At this point, Doreen says, so how do you think our little business is going so far? And I said, hmm, we decided we needed education. education, right? So that's we went on our journey, um, or we started looking around New Zealand, actually, for people to teach us how to trade in New Zealand. And the only courses available in New Zealand were um, Dr. Roos, and but he, he back then was a die-hard buy and hold fan. Um, and we did his course twice, and Dolph was awesome, and we you know, learned a lot from him, but it wasn't what we were really looking for. We were looking for trading um, seminar. And the other one was on the Newlands commercial. So we started looking overseas, and um, this is just some of the training that we have done in the US, and some of the people that we've trained with. Now, we eventually um, came across Ron Grant. Now, I do believe he is still training, but he's getting very old and very grumpy now. <laughs> he was old and grumpy when we met him, but um, he's getting apparently a lot older and grumpy now. That's Ron. This is on the States, just so that you get the picture. The reason we chased up Ron is because we were looking for no money down um, strategies, and everything we learned in New Zealand was very much money down and money lost. At that point. Yes. So, no money down strategies when we know that we need to look at the wrong. We did quite well. Our education bill. Um, anybody guess what we spent on our education bill? Huh? No. Nothing. Probably a whole lot. Yeah. I don't know. No, it's about that much, but I think it's about $500,000. Yeah. Yeah. Plus? And, and it will continue to grow. Um, we'll be training um, next weekend up here in Chile, but we'll talk to you about that. So yes, we are seminar junkies and we're very proud of it. If you're not growing and learning, what are you doing? You're going backwards. You're dying. <laughs> <laughs> I know that from somebody. Oh, that's you guys. Okay, so moving on from our education, uh, we then came back to um, Wellington from Vegas and uh, we started, we learned the We Buy Houses business. Ron LeGrand taught us to become real estate entrepreneurs. And that's transaction really, engineers. Transaction engineers, real estate entrepreneurs. Now, um, here we go. Everybody's seen these signs around New Zealand. Yep, okay, well anybody with those signs um, is actually uh, more, most likely one of our students, right? Now these people are trained in a certain way. They're trained to have um, a certain number of systems, somewhere up to like seven or eight, seven or eight systems that they learned on how to buy and sell the property. The we buy houses part of this is to get private sellers to call you, right? It's not a franchise that you have to buy into. Um, it's not a big company that <coughs> runs everybody. The we buy houses is just the marketing that uh, real estate entrepreneurs trained by us use to get private sellers to call them, right? If you want to be a real estate entrepreneur, you've got to have private sellers calling you. Right? It's the only way that you can do creative deals. <coughs> Understand? Now, if you've got a willing buyer and a willing seller, right, and you know seven or eight different ways of buying and selling a house, right, there's always a deal to be done. 
no matter who's on the other end of the line. Right? That's the position that we want to get you guys into. We want you to be able to, first of all, we have your phone ringing, secondly, pick it up, right, and be able to listen to that person and suss out a deal, right, so that it makes, fits their needs, fits your buyer's needs, and gets you a little bit of money in between. Does that sound like a good idea? Okay, all right, good. So, we're going to go basically through um, marketing, then a few basic facts, like stuff that you should know and have in your head. Then we're going to go through some examples um, of the different systems that we teach. And yes, we are going to go through an example of our new cash flow system. And Who wants to know about that? Yeah, me. Not enough. Who wants to know about that? Yes! Go, Robert. <laughs> Full support. Um, and then at the end of the day, we're going to mess with your heads a little bit. Oh, you can do that. Because part of the biggest problem with um, real estate entrepreneurs, and especially at the moment, because I know the last two years have been hard, right? We're not blind to that, it's been hard for us as well. And, or difficult, I should say, you know, there's challenges out there. Um, so we're going to mess with your head a little bit. And we've got a little um, a, a special treat for you. And, um, and see if we can't, you know, get rid of some of those things that hold you back and stop you from actually successfully being out there and doing those deals. Does that sound right to you guys? Make payments. At the moment that is a huge way of getting a house. Is the agent going to make the payment? If this, if this mob's struggling with their house, especially if it's a rental and an investor and you offer to make the mortgage payments while all this is going on and you're doing whatever you're doing, maybe you can do the house up, what, what are you actually going to, if you do make the payments, what are you going to do with that love? Good man. Dave, how are you? Dave just said to take it off the price, capital reductions, okay? Whatever you pay in the way of the payments, and this is one way of getting houses so quickly because agents won't do that, and sometimes people are really, really stressed about those mortgage payments. If you make those payments, make sure that they come straight off the purchase price. Is that going to make the vendor want to sell it to you? You'll be first in the door. Now, sandwich lease. Renick and I are the pioneers of sandwich and lease options in New Zealand. We introduced that to New Zealand. However, when we introduced that, and we were looking more at sandwich leases than lease options. Lease options have gone a little crazy, and Rena wants to have a conversation about that. I don't know whether she wants to do that now. Yeah, I can cover that now. You want to do that now? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Um, lease options. Lease options are an awesome way to um, get higher rents for your rental properties, um, with a deposit up front, and ensure that your tenants are well. They're not tenants; they're actually tenant buyers. So potential buyers of the property. Maintenance and repairs obviously becomes their problem. They have the right to uh, make improvements to the property and eventually they are going to buy the property. Now the reason investors like um, lease options is because, you know, as I said, when a rent to buy tenant, they're a much better behaved tenant, they're a house better, 